Piggles the guy Jim, Jamaican YouTuber Talking about a guy wasn't coming to Japan And if you don't want to come here, let me know Cause I love this video with the sound Piggles the guy Jim, Jamaican YouTuber Ikibasho In a country far, far away Very different from what everyone may know Foreigners have gathered from far and wide To enter into Japan. Why, you may ask? To teach English. Initially, everyone came on either the JET or the Interact program, but in the last couple of years, another way has developed. The way known as the English Conversation School. <laughs> Alright guys, <laughs> for that over the top intro, but basically Eikaiwa is now one of the more popular ways to get into Japan if you want to teach English and basically they are as it says an English conversation school yeah basically there are many Eikaiwas in Japan many English conversation schools here so please do your research before coming here as you know there are always good companies and bad companies big and small so do your research ask questions before you come here because coming to japan is a life-changing experience all right it affects your life savings definitely it affects your relationships and maybe you start a family here or not but you know and you change the person because experiences form character and you might be a bit different if you ever go back home or when you go back home to visit or whatever now the company that I work for has over 1,500 schools in Japan and they're like the number two in the country for children only schools. Now, I implore you guys, as I said before, do your research because a cars might not be for you. An ALT might be more suited to persons who are a bit more reserved and don't have a lot of energy or maybe, you know what I mean? Because as an in an Eikaiwa, you need to be Genki, you know? It's not a formal teaching situation. So, a lot of things that you couldn't do in a, in a public school, you can do in an Eikaiwa, and vice versa. Now, an ALT is an assistant language teacher. And as it says, assistant, that means there is a Japanese teacher in the classroom with you. At the Eikaiwa, it's your show! You run that classroom, although you get a manual to guide you, but it's not a shackle, all right? Now, Eikaiwas also fail to mention a lot of things and oversell and undersell, undersell stuff. So I'm doing this video to enlighten you, to give you some information so you can make your decision on which one to choose, an Eikaiwa or an LT. And since I work at Eikaiwa, I'm gonna talk about an Eikaiwa because that's what I know and it's my experience thus far in Japan. All right, Eikaiwas, oversell the amount of holidays you get as you know japan has probably the most holidays in the world they have an ocean day you gotta be kidding me yes an ocean day they have uh, a culture day uh golden week oban samurai day no they don't have a samurai day but they have a lot of holidays a kaiwas tend only to get three major holidays which are christmas uh golden week and oban ALTs, they get every holiday. Every holiday. Plus summer. Eikaiwas, you don't get summer holidays because that's when we make the moolah. Good. Also, Eikaiwas oversell the, the class schedule. They'll say, oh, oh my god, you only have like two or three classes and then you get to work every day. Yes, you may get two to three classes, but uh, yeah. That's the ideal situation. You usually get a bit more, but I'm not complaining about that, right? If you get breaks in between classes, it's just long enough for you to hand over the kids and receive new ones. They also oversell the students. Oh my God, Japanese students are the most amazing, honest, and hardworking students you'll ever find. Hold up, <laughs> what? Wait a second, kids are gonna be kids, all right? You're gonna have good and you're gonna have bad kids, but don't oversell like, oh my God, they are the Buddhist, I will do everything you say, sensei. No, that's not how it works. Kids are gonna be kids. Don't oversell us that because we're gonna come in with these high expectations and be brought back crashing down to earth when we actually start teaching these kids, okay? Eikai was undersell the amount of commuting you have to do. 
for some teachers, uh, for me, I'm lucky. I only have, my longest commute is about 15 minutes. Other teachers have to travel for two hours one way. So the return trip, if they, it's really dicey, if their last class is pretty late and they have to catch the train to catch another train to catch another train, if they miss one transfer, they're sleeping at the station and they got to wait. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things. Commuting can be a bit tricky in Japan in terms of the length of the commute. But you do get reimbursed. They also understand the amount of taxes that you're gonna have to pay in the country. They don't tell you. There are a crap load of taxes. There are as much taxes as rice in Japan, pretty much. I you know Japan has a lot of rice. They also understand the amount of paperwork that there is to do. In a country that's supposed to be super first world advanced with toilets that can sing to you to massage the crap out of you and to give you a good cleaning, they still have you writing a lot, like really a lot. Also, a major thing they undersell in the Eikai was that you're going to be doing edutainment, education and entertainment. So edu is a smaller part of the edutainment. Tainment. I think it's three from education, three, edu, edu, and about eight or seven from tainment, entertainment. So edutainment, the amalgamation of education and entertainment. You're mostly gonna be an entertainer for these kids. So you're gonna be a clown, be stupid, <laughs> and stuff, to make them enjoy themselves while learning English. So if the kids are okay and happy, then you're okay, the company's okay, and you know, you still have a job. And once you're doing your job well, then that's pretty much it. Uh, that's basically it about Eikawas. I mean, it depends. People will have different experiences because some Eikawas require more, some require less. As I said, you need to check out the different companies. Talk to people who work at them. They are very good companies here. Uh, they're very large companies as well. So just check it out, all right? And it depends on where you end up, you know? Because uh, you can be uh, by company and schools all throughout Japan, except Tokyo. <laughs> Right, like Tokyo proper, like like Tokyo Central with Shinjuku, no, no schools there. But you guys just need to make sure you do all your research. And everybody can't be placed at, this, at the place they want because then there'll be places that don't have teachers. So embrace where you're going, try to learn some of the culture, share your culture and you know, teach the kids. Let the kids know that English is really a tool for them to travel if they desire and you can take them places. All right, so that's my video on eight cameras. So see you next time. Bam, bam, bam. Tell me if you like this setup so I can use it more often. Boom, 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 